Good morning, dear children. This is Grade Five English Poem. Be a friend. After reading this poem, you will enjoy the poem and learn some good qualities and values in life. Before reading the poem, let us know the poet. Edgar Albert Guest. He lived between eighteen eighty one to nineteen fifty nine. He was an American poet who was born in England. He moved to United States when he was a child. He wrote thousands of poems, which were published in several books. They encouraged the reader to do the right thing. and he became to be known as the people's poet he wrote sentimental optimistic poems about everyday life the speaker writes about the qualities needed to be a good friend in this poem he shows how it is more important to be a good friend than to be rich or famous be a friend You don't need money. Just a disposition sunny. Just the wish to help another get along some way or other. Just a kindly hand extended out to one who is unbefriended. Just the will to give or lend. This will make you someone's friend. In the first answer, the poet is telling us on how to be a friend if you want to become someone's friend you don't need money all you need is a disposition sunny disposition means nature sunny means cheerful you just need a cheerful nature just the wish to help another get along some way or other In order to become a friend you just have to help someone to get along in their life some way or other we know that everybody is struggling to become someone's friend all you have to do is to help them to get along in their life some way or other just a kindly hand extended extended means to offer to whom extended to the one who is unbefriended unbefriended means someone who does not have any friends just the will to give or lend this will make you someone's friend just the willingness to give or lend somebody all that you can offer all these qualities will make you someone's friend in the first stanza the word meanings that you will come across are disposition means nature extended means here in the poem it means to offer unbefriended in the poem means someone who has no friends lend means to grant or to give In the first stanza the poet says we don't need money to be a friend we just need to be cheerful helpful and generous be a friend you don't need glory friendship is a simple story pass by trifling errors blindly gaze on honest effort kindly Cheer the youth who's bravely trying. Pity him who's sadly sighing. Just a little labor spent on the duties of a friend. Here, the poet clearly tells us that in order to become a friend, you don't need glory. Means you don't have to be rich. Because friendship is a simple story. and what all must you do to become a friend pass by trifling errors 
blindly. Trifling errors means unimportant mistakes. When a person is making small mistakes, you pass them blindly means you ignore them. Gaze on honest efforts kindly. When somebody is making an effort, you gaze at them means you admire them. Cheer the youth who is bravely trying. You know that everybody is trying in some way or the other. When somebody is trying sincerely and bravely, you cheer them up, you encourage them. Pity him who is sadly sighing means feel sorry for someone who is deeply sad. Just a little labor spent on the duties of a friend means these are simple things that you need to do if you want to become somebody's friend. These are your duties if you want to become somebody's friend. What are the duties? First of all, you don't have to be rich. You have to ignore unimportant mistakes. You have to admire their honesty and efforts. You have to cheer someone who is bravely and courageously working hard in their life. You have to feel sorry for someone who is deeply sad. These are all just some little work spent on the duties of a friend. The word meanings in the second stanza are glory means highly famous or rich. Trifling means unimportant. Gaze, look in admiration. Look at someone with appreciation. Pity means the feeling of sadness, feeling sorry for someone. Sighing means deep breath expressing sadness. In the second stanza, the poet tells us about the duties of friendship. We should be able to forgive our friends easily, encourage our friends in everything and share their sadness. Be a friend. The pay is bigger, though not written by a figure, than is earned by people clever in what's merely self-endeavor. You will have friends instead of neighbors for the profits of your labors. You will be richer in the end than a prince if you are a friend. Now children, in this stanza, the poet tells us that if you become a friend, the reward is very, very high. What you get back is very, very big. And it cannot be written by a figure. Means you cannot mention them in, the, in terms of money. Than is earned by people clever in what's merely self-endeavor. People generally work for themselves. Self-endeavor means their self-achievements. Everybody are working for their self-achievement and people are clever to earn something from their self-endeavor. But here in this poem, the poet tells us that if you become someone's friend, the reward that you get is much bigger and it cannot be even written in figures. You cannot count them in tens or thousands. You will have friends instead of neighbors. Means your neighbors will also become your friends for the profits of your labors. For all the effort that you make to become a friend, what you get in return is that even the neighbors become your friends. 
and you will be richer in the end than a prince if you are a friend prince is someone who be- belongs to the royal family if you become somebody's friend you will be richer in the end than someone who belongs to the royal family and these are all necessary to become a friend in this stanza the word self endeavor means someone who is trying hard to do or achieve something in the third stanza the poet tells us that the wealth of friendship is greater than the money we earn for ourselves when our neighbors become our friends we will be richer than the royals the summary of the poem is what you learn from this poem in short so be a friend this poem lists some of the qualities of a true friend the poet says that a cheerful and a kind nature help us win friends a true friend doesn't find fault and praises their friends sincere efforts the poet says we don't have to be rich and famous to become friends or to make friends we just have to be compassionate kind and sincere in return for this effort we will obtain the wealth of true friendship so tell me dear children should we always listen to our friends no we must not always listen to our friends they may suggest things that are wrong in such situations we must talk frankly with them and point out why they are wrong a true friend will always be honest please remember that what to do to make our friendship last forever then be cheerful by nature and be willing to help and support those who are in need of love and encouragement money comes and goes but our character stays with us for ever so that's all my dear children about the poem be a friend read and enjoy